Hello guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and tuning my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And this year, let me introduce you as my goal is 1 million subscribers. And last time I recorded here and I was lost, I couldn't be able to uh, figure out which way I supposed to go. And today I resume my video again. And this is uh, Toranomon. And I just finished my work. And about to commute to my home, but let me show you since I'm going to home before that. Toranomon is, uh, we call in English Tiger Gate. This is the meaning of Toranomon. And most of the business is quiet, most of the companies here, which is ID Tech companies, you can find out here. So it's a high rises building. This is what I can see around nothing else and obviously transportation is very good to run one the station is here and uh, it's quite accessible most of the company lies here so if you are coming visit maybe high-tech companies you can find it to run on the station so this is the time most of the employees they finish their work and commuting their home well, it's quite fascinating today's atmosphere is also good guys so what i can recommend you is uh, whenever you're coming to japan and visit or whatsoever just come enjoy your vacation in japan with japanese work cultures yeah one good thing is like uh, in japan you know even they don't have space they maintain ecosystem so can you can you see the environment it's quite amazing even the high rises building right you can see the big big high rises building even though high rise is building but you can see the green atmosphere that's uh, good and it makes the city more eco-friendly right and if you walk a little bit one minute you can see SMBC um, ADM and so on yeah. so since I'm not in a hurry guys let me show you this is the sky breeze and previous video while i was walking from simbasi to toranomon i also showed you what it looked like you know and the view was quite fascinating most of our audience they like from simbasi to toranomon so obviously you're going to like from Toranomon to Takeike, I don't know the station name, but this is how um, actually this place looks like. So, what's your opinion, guys? How about infrastructure? Please let me know. Comment below. Is it wonderful? Uh, they need to work on it. So, this is what I'm trying to show you guys how it looks like the Japan and their infrastructure. It's quite fascinating. Hope you're going to like it. So you can see in front of me there is Torano Moni station guys. So let me roll my camera and what I'm going is uh, Takeike Sanno yeah. So Takeike Sanno is my goal. So before I'm heading towards my goal let me show you the obvious view and you can see the taxis here the car yeah i enjoy guys so enjoy with me if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys i again i highly request you that this year is 1 million subscribers so before december i'd like to reach that goal 1 million subscribers so be part of my family wherever you're watching from please comment below and let me know where you're watching from what kind of infrastructure you like to see in japan and what is your personal opinion please let me know all right so let me hit the road rather than speaking too much it's also not good wow beautiful right oh flowers with the high rises buildings so okay since i have limited time guys so uh, this is how Lightening up with the trees and with the nature combinations. And let me roll up the camera. Let me roll up the camera. And then. Yeah. So let me hit 
the road. Maybe this video will be uh, 20 to 25 minutes. So bear with me guys. So when you come to Japan guys, most of the time you can see this kind of boat where there's so many information. If you're lost, if you see this kind of boat, you can find the information that you're looking for so that we are not going to, you know, pondering here and there. Because sometimes Google navigations, you know, is like make you circle around and around and around. But I think if you know how to read the maps, that's also good. Personally, guys, I really like uh, the atmosphere. It's no wonder the Tiger Gate. Toronto, the Tiger Gate. And what makes the thing is convenient is like, you know, how the infrastructure is and how they build it. And you know, in Japan is the high rate of earthquake. All the time, earthquake is coming. But it's still, you can see the high rises building. So, this is. Uh, Personally, uh, I find myself is quite fascinating and really like I have already said that wonder lost is yeah is, is always wondering like how they build this high rises building right and there are so many earthquake and we don't know which time is going to hit the earthquake but it's still the high rises building you can see and that's that's the region that I gave my video's title is Wonderlust so this makes Tokyo is different right because even though there are so many earthquakes and so many casualties but instead of that focusing on those things they focus the how they can use those casualties for the future so this is how you can see And uh, if you guys watching from where we are watching from, if you see Tokyo, Tokyo, you know, their technology, their implementation of technology is very high. So my personal point of view, uh, within 10 years, going to huge changes. And most of the plays will take over AI. And uh, obviously there will be staff, but the most of the staff replaced by AI system, because we know that there is a huge human error. Even we try to do our best, the human error is always exist. But what we'll do AI is replace the human error and follow the instructions that make things easy and also portable and convenience and sufficient efficiency and also there is a great sufficiency for the services but i don't uh, compare with the human strength with ai because human is the one who built ai right and to maintain ai there will be backbone called human maintenance and so on so on so yeah obviously so many things is going on and this is my personal point of view guys while i'm walking and sewing those things rather than just sewing since i came to japan you know eight years ago so many changes during this year uh so many you know the high rises building and uh, technology implementation these are the things is all the time changing so that makes 
things different from other part of the world so all right it's almost 10 minutes you can see the car is up in Sukiya Sukiyaki have to go to Ike-san no? Take Ike-san no? Take Ike-san Sumimasen Take Ike-san no? Te kochi desu ka? Kochi desu ka? Take Ike-san no? Eki Ah, kai no kai はい、そうです。この反対側です。そこでそこから入れます。オーケーです。ありがとうございます。はい、あ、いや。So I was asking where is Takeki San no Eki? So the Japanese ladies is introducing me. This is the way because I this is for the first time I'm visiting this place. So obviously, you know, one thing what I discover myself if you don't know rather than pondering yourself just ask you know it save your time so rather than pondering yourself and thinking and round and round it's it's better to ask you know? so these are the things i have learned so obviously if you are visiting japan if you don't know the language culture so on just ask people love to help are free you know this makes this nation is different so i believe you're going to like the place so this is the way I'm going to get steward and this is where I came from so let me hit the road slightly and slowly most of the people compare with the you know Tokyo and New York City as for me obviously a New York City is amazing and I have a high rating of it but Regarding safety, uh, Tokyo is the best. And uh, so many times I conversate with my colleagues, with Japanese colleagues and my friends. And their answer is also living in Japan, Tokyo is quite safe. Uh, for con convenient, obviously, uh, New York City is much convenient and much flexible. But Tokyo is more secure and safety. So this is Lawson guys. In upcoming videos I'm going to show you Lawson and maybe you can compare with the um, New York convenient store and Japan convenient store. What makes different? So one thing I was wondering my Canadian friends is uh, saying that in in New York City people can buy bullets through convenience store I don't know if it's true or not but that makes me a little bit amazed because in, in Japan you cannot find bullet in convenience store so hopefully don't try to buy a bullet here in Japan. You cannot find in convenience store. It's not a New York City or it's not other <laughs> part of America. That's a little bit different. So you cannot buy bullet in convenience store. It's all right. So all I see is high rises building. Sanno Park Tower. Yeah, this is also a tower. But I'm not going to visit the Sanno Park Tower. So this is how it looks like guys. Let me roll my camera and let's show you the view. Takeke Sanno.
this is Tokyo Metro guys the train I'm going to take is Tokyo Metro maybe from here Takeikesan Takeikesan All right guys Maybe this is much for today uh, It's uh, looking quite amazing And uh, From here Takeke san no I don't know which way I have to go Takeke san no One thing is amazing, uh, like if you don't know the place and if you go to the place, if you see the place and it's completely different from what you are living and where you are from, it's like revive you as well. So many high tech companies around and uh, like the good thing is like traveling, you know, um, it's like you know, your thinking capability like sometimes what happens is like you work in one office you work and see the same thing again and again <laughs> you know nothing is different but when you come out from your cocoon and try to see something new it's like new informations process your brain with a new capability so alright guys uh, this is much for today so from here I'm going to stop and let me show you also the, how it looks like the station. Maybe this one is going to commute to the station. Uh, I'm not sure, but let me just go. Last time I came here, but I couldn't able to capture this area. But let me go down. Yeah, maybe the station. So, guys, my next upcoming video is what I'll do from here to to the next station. Since I have limited time, I cannot able to record. Uh, it's underground. You can see where I come from. I'm sure, quite sure, we are going to. He's underground, guys. Uh, okay, we have a family mart as well. We have ramen, shoba. Okay, all right. UFJ ATM around. Oh, maybe 7 Eleven ATM around here. Okay, here we go. The station is here. We have Takeke Sanno Station, Nambaku Line, Ginja Line, Underpass, Kokai. Alright, let's go. Make it sound quite accessible. Maybe, oh no, I cannot connect with the Tanjama line. I have to go to Ginja line first. So, okay. 
This is underground station, guys, and I think it's I'm not hope you're going to like. Even the underground station, I don't know what the light is. Okay, okay, okay. It's from above. That's why the quiet like not look like underground. Okay. It's a good thing. They did it. Alright, from here guys, I'm going to take Ginja line. This is Namboku line, Marunotsu line, Ginza line. Maybe I have to take the same and I will ask the station master. Suimasen. Are Ginja line to the Kodiska? Masugiska? Ariato Zaymas. So I was asking to the station master, ah, like uh, Ume, so he's not master, but okay. This is Namboku Nambu line. And then maybe I have to also. Alright, I have to cross. Now I remember. Train arrived. Uh, it's a little bit crowdy this time because since this is a business hour, and most of the employees they just finish their work and commute to their home. So it's okay. You want to see? Let me show you how it's open door. Yeah. But today I'm not going to take this train. I'm going to. Hanjama line, so oh, it's better than that. Let me let me go. <clears throat> so here we are. This is Ross Hour, so you cannot find it. But it's like too much crowding. All right, here we go. This is the train I'm going to take. But since it's already closed the door, so I cannot able. So this is the head, guys, and this train is going to this way. So this is how. Let me show you the efficiency of the train. It's quite fast. This way is already left. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And this year, before December, my goal is 1 million subscribers. So, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching from Japan, thank you so much. So, see you next time. Bye bye.